<laughs> Which should be really easy to do. That's it. Now, I'm going to show you how to pack my bag, and I'll be on my way. La la. Alright, let's pack my bag. Cut! Now we're ready to do the teardown. What do you tear down first? Well, believe it or not, yes, I keep saying that word. I tear down my tool shed first. Boys, watch! Take this off. <laughs> Alright, I got my cook kit. I got my bush chair. Should I stuff it in my bag as we go? Come on, let's stuff it in the bag as we go. But before we do that, we gotta get the blankets out. I'll show you why. I'm like, why are you doing the rain? Why are you doing the blankets first? Cause I will show you. And I'll stuff my uh, fleece blanket in. And my other fleece blanket. Let's see if I can fold it up a little bit. Sorry. Jeez, well, you're not looking at me. Well, you kind of. <laughs> I compressed all my blankets into this big ball and I put this at the bottom of my bag. I'm going to show you why I put this in first. Come along with me. You know the next thing I take down is my hammock. Even though it's gonna be a bitch to get it out. <laughs> oh, I don't, I can't. <laughs> I had to take down the tarp system. All right, this is just a little flap for our privacy. I like when the trees come together and I can use it really well. All the trees around here came together to help me put my stuff up correct. This is a little uh, privacy tarp. This tarp and another tarp. All right, these two pieces of tarps are extra pieces for my privacy. Come out the light. Watch me. Alright, so I wrap these up together. I think I got a bag for these two. And the reason why I put them in a uh, one of these bags that you can't get wet, because if these get wet, I can still wrap them and later on when I get home, open them up.
I have, and this one also goes with it. Yeah. It's little straps. I can hang it underneath my um, my hammock and hang stuff if I want. But I'm now here for the long period of time, so I didn't need it. You know, just stuff it in the uh, dry sack, or what do we call it? Waterproof sack. Let's make sure you watching. All right, there you go. What I do with my, uh, I get the, there's uh, a flimsy side and a backboard side. What I do is take the backboard side, face it towards me, fold my back like this. Then after I fold it, I get all that air out and I just start turning and turning and turning. And voila, no air is inside my bag. I'm just going to throw that over there with the rest of my gear because it's done. All right, next. We're going to take, we're going to take, come over here. Over here. Watch me. Okay, now we're going to take off the front prophecy tarp. Look how. Now this goes underneath my lines, underneath the tarp. So I have an overlap wall like this. If you see it right there, it's underneath my tarp. This is the best tree system I got so far that did everything I wanted. So I take this off. And it just hooks onto the lines. I got those in one of the big bags I have. I'll show you what it is. It's a wind curtain for uh, the fast setup system. It's a wind curtain. It goes all the way around your uh, canopy. So when you, if you need protection from the wind, this is it. It's good for water protection for a while, but it's not good as a tarp. I'm not, I would not recommend this as a tarp. I recommend this as a wind or privacy wall. I mean, you can probably use it as a wind, uh, water. Let's see if it says water. <laughs> oh, this thing will catch on fire. <laughs> oh, here's some more instructions. I'm not worried about it. We get the point. I mean, if you want to use it as a rain protector, that's fine with me. I just make sure you always stuff. You don't have to fold, just stuff your bag. All right, now I'm going to place everything in my bag. I start with the bottom. The reason why, I show you why. Give me a second. All right, I put my hammock in my sleepwear at the bottom. Then I put my mat. I don't take this deep in the woods, I'll tell you that. This is just a car capping bag. I take my mat and I put this at the bottom. Why you put everything in the bottom first, Ranger Googie? Let me show you. There, take them up. Now I can stand my bag up. I can fill it up the rest of the way. All right. I have a folding fishing pole. That goes to the bottom, so it won't get broken. All right, the next thing. Let's see. I put my mini hammock in first. I put my fishing tackle in. I put my uh, privacy tarp in. My 
my rope bag. One of my tarp bags. My tarp. And one of my privacy tarps or a reflector tarp, whatever I want to use it for. That's what I have it for. My radio. That's supposed to have been in there after, before that. It goes underneath the... And my toilet paper and toiletry. This is supposed to have went in there earlier, but this is my bushcraft hammock that goes over here with my Stanley set. And with my slippers, if I'm at a beach or something like that, I have some slippers. And that bag's is full, so I'll close that. My food goes over here. And that's done, so I close it. And my cook kit goes right on top. Then, my bush chair for back support. If I want to sit on a bench, I can sit on a bench for back support. That goes between the two clips. And voila. This goes and my extra privacy tarp, I give and take it out or put it in. It depends on where I'm going. I can use a small one or I can use the big one. But this goes in my car. Whee! Now, my bag is complete. I got my two walking sticks. But like I showed you before, face your bag towards you. I mean, away from me in the back. Yep. 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 There we go. Okay. There it is. place your bag like this. Look at me. Okay, now you can look at it. Alright, remember, place your bag towards you. Grab the inserts. Grab your walking stick and your hat. And I have to say goodbye to y'all. And before you leave, always double check your cabin area. Make sure you didn't leave nothing, which I did already. And I want to say goodbye to y'all. See y'all next round.